Hold on. We ready. Christmas shades on by popular demand. I told you I'll do it. All right. We have a couple of dope news items for this video. But before we get started, you already know what the deal is, bro. Click that like button. Click it right now. Click it. All right. The first news item. More talks of the price of the Xbox Series X. Of course, Microsoft announced their next gen console, which I'm pretty hyped for. Can't wait for the launch holiday 2020. But this article is coming from the Motley Fool, and they're discussing what the price point will be and how Microsoft could very well get a super expensive console still in the hands of of your average Joe. First, they're saying, <laughs> just based on the specs, everything that is known about the console, to anticipate it being around $500, $600. I know you guys are like, ain't no way in the world, Obi-Wan, I'm buying a console, flipping, just subscribed live, boy, for $600. That's some PlayStation 3 fail stuff. But, they are saying Microsoft could be doing what they did this past. What Microsoft has been doing this current generation has been a test trial for next gen. One way they're saying according to this article is Microsoft just might adopt the iPhone model. This phone costs about over a thousand dollars. But it sort of didn't feel like it because I was hooked into a contract. Um, it was a, I was almost like my, with my subscription to AT&T, if you would say. I was paying monthly on the phone. Microsoft did it this past generation. If you signed up for Xbox, I think it was Xbox Live Gold and Xbox Game Pass. If you subscribe to their services, you got an Xbox One S included with your service. So you didn't even have to pay for the box. Well, you did. The price was a little higher, but you were paying for it in monthly installments. What if Microsoft does the same thing for the Xbox Series X? You subscribe to Game Pass Ultimate, um, Xbox Live Gold for X amount of years. They give you a free console. Now, of course, you're probably going to have to qualify for this program. But don't be surprised if what they did this gen carries over. This was a test trial for next generation and Xbox Series X. That could be a possible way to get a super powerful, <laughs> expensive console into the hands of millions. Now... It'll probably be done regionally. Of course, the United States will be probably one of those regions. Probably Europe and Japan. Who knows where else. But this could be. Either way, next generation. This is my real thoughts on next generation. I just glitched, bro. I'm in the Matrix. Um, on both Sony and Microsoft, I think they're going to be pushing less hardware sales and more subscription and software sales. They already started this generation. You could buy your Microsoft and PlayStation exclusives on PC. Third-party games are already on PC. So it's coming to the point where it really doesn't matter what hardware you have. 
you could, you'll be able to play your games everywhere except Nintendo. Nintendo ain't about that life. Ain't no way you playing Mario on no PC. You ain't playing that Metroid on a PC. You gotta buy you a Nanaka Smitch. Inside joke. Go look up Nanaka Smitch. All right, next news item. Speaking of Nintendo, a very rare auction is about to go on sale. The prototype. For the Nintendo PlayStation is about to be on public auction for the very first time. What is a Nintendo PlayStation, you ask? <laughs> it's this bad boy right here. For those of you that don't know, Nintendo low-key made PlayStation into the beast it is today. Nintendo and Sony, they were partnering up to, to make a Super Nintendo add-on disk drive because the sega genesis they had the sega cd and cd-rom was was beginning to be the wave in gaming and at the last minute nintendo backed out of the deal sony was a little hot they said you know what we still making a console boom the playstation arrived they haven't looked back since but for the first first time there's going to be a public auction for the nintendo playstation and the auction will be scheduled for March 5th through 7th, 2020. But you can start bidding online in February. Bro, don't be surprised if this reaches a million dollar auction. Super rare. And it's been confirmed that everything still works in it. CD-ROM, everything. This just looks crazy, bro. <laughs> a Super Nintendo controller with Sony PlayStation on it. Ha! Those were the days. Oh, back in my days, the golden age of gaming. All right, next news item. Sony boys. It looks like there is about to be a Final Fantasy VII remake demo available soon to PlayStation um, um, Now. I think PlayStation Plus subscribers. Now, this is coming from GameStack. And they track every new addition to PSN, and they are—they've been accurate in the past. In the past, they um, revealed, they leaked ahead of time that Resident Evil 3 remake that that was um, discovered in their system, um, as well as a couple of other games. And so, um, or they also did um, reveal the next Sony State of Play that streamed on December 10th. And so. They're saying, according to this website, Inverse.com, that this source is pretty legit. So, a Final Fantasy VII remake demo should be coming soon to the PlayStation. I think this is their biggest game in 2020. I know dudes are like, oh, what about The Last of Us 2? The Last of Us 2 looks so much like the first. I, I beat The Last of Us on my PlayStation. Dope game. But I'm not um, excited for the second one. All right. Um, also, speaking of Sony, they're teasing some exclusives coming to the PlayStation 5. Previously, there were reports that Sony might not be having that fire at launch. I think whatever exclusive Sony's going to have at launch, Microsoft is going to beat them out with exclusives. Just based on the amount of studio acquisitions and what. Microsoft has been announcing games, bro. Every while looks lit, bro. Sony hasn't been announcing anything, bro. I'm just saying, bro. So, according to, um, he was, um, Sony, the head of Sony Worldwide Studios, Herman Holtz. He's their newly appointed head of studios. He was interviewed by Games Industry, and he talked about how they're recruiting new talent uh, for their first-party studios and... <laughs> There is a rumor going around of three particular exclusives at launch. Uh, a remake of Demon Souls, a reboot of SOCOM, and a new Gran Turismo game. All three of those exclusives, I don't really care for. I like God of War as a Sony exclusive and Ratchet and Clank. That's about it, bro. Um, Gran Turismo fell off after PlayStation 2, bro. PlayStation 3 Gran Turismo just went down and they ain't never looked back. Forza has taken their spot as the go-to racing game. 
Um, and the last, last, last news item for this video. I got to show some love to my Stadia homies, bro. You got that Stadia. You put it in the corner after you bought it. Time to dust off Stadia. Don't give up on Stadia already. Two new free games. Free games coming to Stadia in January. Tomb Raider and... What's the other thing? Thumper. Like neon type racing game. Tomb Raider... Um, Definitive Edition will be free in January for Stadia dudes. That game has been there, done that. I think it's, if it's not on Game Pass right now, it's already been free through Xbox Live Gold. Stadia's trying their best, bro. They're trying. They're trying. But they're dying and dying. Bars. All right, dudes. That's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bye.